Hey, 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 Welcome to Booge News! Tonight's top story, Cinco Swallows Landing, City Rejoices. On a positive note, Jacksonville is leaving the state with the strongest economy, 16th in the nation. Suck it, Sarasota. We are also leaving the country in murders per capita, shitty tattoos, rented rims, and truck nuts. Possible connection? 17 arrested in prostitution sting in Clay County. Guess it wasn't such a happy ending after all. Surveys indicate that Douglas Anderson leads the county in graduation rates, betrayals, and teen pregnancies. Go figure. Amato Richmond. And now, the continuing adventures of Florida Man. Cape Coral, Florida, Florida man shoots door-to-door -door salesman, quote, I'll kill anyone who steps on my property. Volusia County, Florida man flees seatbelt stop on foot, cop runs him over and kills him. Uh, in Key West, Florida man angry over election writes, fuck Obama on his will before taking his own life. Uh, Naples, Florida, Florida man accused of using a water cup to drink soda at a McDonald's is charged with a felony. Jensen Beach, Florida man tries to use taco as ID after his car catches on fire at a local Taco Bell. Uh, Miami, Florida man sells his own urine on Craigslist for $20 an ounce. Also in Miami, a Florida man tastes to death after naked cocaine rampage. And last but not least, a Florida man is addicted to coffee enemas in Ocala, Florida. Join us here next week for the continuing adventures of Florida man. The Northside Ninjas holding on to the league leading score with their most recent fun and gun after a dispute at a dice game on Sawyer Avenue this week. That brings their yearly total from 723 to 749 for the year. Southside Suicides maintaining home field advantage at Mascaras this week with the second murder in as many years. The Suicide gets bonus points because police have no leads in either case, bringing their total score from 198 to an even 200 with bonus points. Join us next time for an in-depth report on the Neptune Bro Dudes, hot on the heels of the Northside Assassins for the league lead this year. A bald eagle has died. I'm sad to report that on September 11th in the St. John's County Hospital, a bald eagle died. It was found on the side of Palm Coast Road September 8th with 15 shotgun pellets in his beautiful body. This amazing creature held on for three days before succumbing to the sweet kiss of death on September 11th. If you have any information as to the whereabouts or identities of the monsters responsible for this egregious attack on our freedom, please call the number on your screen. And now, I'd like to observe a moment of silence for one of God's most majestic creatures and symbol of our freedom, Baldy, the Bald Eagle. Retraction! The story we reported on uh, at the beginning of the news about a sinkhole swallowing the landing is completely false. Also, herpes infected monkeys terrorizing Florida. In 1930, three pairs of breeding age monkeys were freed in an Ocala Park. Since then, the population has boomed into the thousands. City officials have caught over 700 pairs of the monkeys in the past decade. Most are infected with herpes simplex B. Officials are calling this a public health hazard. Repeat, there are herpes infected monkeys in Jacksonville. There are herpes infected monkeys in Jacksonville. There are herpes infected monkeys in Jacksonville. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I like that bitches. I like that bitches.